So currently in Sea of Thieves we have three types of cursed chests, but let's be honest, they are kind of lame. Don't get me wrong, finding a chest that actually does something every once in a while is pretty nice, but the problem is that their effects can be countered pretty easily. Chest of Sorrow, just place it on a robot and drop it when it starts crying. Chest of Rage, place it on the bowsprit, let it explode and put out the fire with just one bucket, repeat. Chest of a thousand grogs, you can avoid the drunk effect completely if you learn how to carry a treasure while running. So it would be cool to see in future updates of the game, you cursed chests that maybe sell for a lot of gold but not without any risks. For this reason, I came up with 5 ideas for new cursed treasures in Sea of Thieves. Starting from number 1, the storm chest. As the name suggests, once picked up, this chest spawns a storm directly above your head that follows you and your ship until you drop the chest in the seas or sell it. The chance to find this chest must be pretty low to avoid stacking, and also because seeing 8 storms in the sky would not be cool. The value of this chest, however, has to be pretty high, otherwise people will just decide to ignore it, which is the same thing that often happens with the chest of sorrow, arguably the most annoying cursed chest in the game right now. Number 2, the call of the sea chest, or something like that. So my idea is that while carrying this chest on your ship, every once in a while enemies emerge on the sea and board your vessel with bad intentions. And the cool thing about this chest is its progress system. After you defeat an initial wave of weak enemies like coral skeletons, the chest levels up so it gains more value and in the next wave it will spawn even stronger enemies, for example ocean crawlers. And for the last wave, a boss will board your ship that once defeated will drop a key that allows you to unlock the chest and see what's inside. So this mechanic would give an additional incentive to keep the chest on the ship and not sell it right away. Pretty much what happens already with the ash chest. You can decide to sell it right away for 5 doublons or keep it for when you find a Nation key that lets you access its content, which is definitely worth more than 5 doublons. Number 3, the ballast chest. If you decide to take this one with you, well you better not have any patched holes on your ship, because the negative effect of this chest is the same one of the ballast ball, the cursed cannonball that makes a ship ride low in the water, making upper deck holes particularly dangerous. In my opinion, this chest is a weaker chest of sorrow, really useful to sink skeleton ships, but pretty harmless if you don't engage in PvP. Number 4, the Ashen Chest of Rage, and no, it's not just the Chest of Rage but with a different texture, because its effect is way more dangerous. If you let this one explode, the chest would summon a volcanic eruption out of the sky, the same attack an Ashen Lord can perform during its final phase. Now since this is a really powerful attack that has a good chance to sink your ship, the value of this chest has to be high. In my opinion, at least 50k gold. And the audio cue that warns that the chest is about to go off has to be longer and more intimidating than the normal chest of rage, so that even new players can understand the hell is about to happen. And for the last chest, I gotta say I'm particularly proud of this one, we have the puke chest. Yes, it's exactly what you're thinking, while you hold this chest there's a chance it pukes on you. And to make things spicy, there's also a low chance it sets you on fire, just to be sure you understand that this chest truly hates you. And that's it for this video, would you like to see one day some of this idea in the game? Let me know in the comments, see you next time.